Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's the name of our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I'm your brother, War Dog Rakab, out of Sakari, Atlanta, coming to you with a quick lesson dealing with the 12 tribes chart. All right. Um, it's coming to everybody's understanding that we we blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are one people. And it's important for us to know that in these times that we're in, because we need to come together as commanded in the scriptures. Right? So we we go out into the highways and byways, and we have a chart of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. And on, on beside them are the names written of the tribes and dealing with the 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 uh, identity, right? The so-called nationalities of these people descend from these tribes. Okay? And how do we how do we put those together? How do we find out that we descend from the nation of Israel? Through prophecy. Alright? And I'm gonna just give a, a few examples. And hopefully we could uh, assess and, you know, do our, our, our due diligence of research to figure out that the prophecies match up 100 uh, percent based upon who we are and our geographical locations. So the first scripture I want to go to is uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 18 and verse 24 says, For in the long garment was the whole world, and in the four rows of the stones was the glory of the fathers graven, and thy majesty upon the diadem of his head. Okay, so that long garment was worn by the Levites, which was of the whole world. And those four rows of the stones was dealing with the stones of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. So let's go into what this world is. All right. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, the 45th chapter. And start at verse 17. It says, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. OK, so this is that world, Israel. Israel is that world that who the, who the inhabited world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ is coming back to give salvation and everlasting life, too. All right. So. Let's go to another supporting scripture on the matter. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse. I'm going to start at verse 15. It says. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. So that one stick for Judah and Israel, his companions, is dealing with this 12 tribes chart. All right. It says, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim. And for all the house of Israel, his companions. So you got the the southern kingdom, right? Which consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And the nation of Israel consists of, uh, of uh, the northern kingdom. There will be called the considered Israel, but Ephraim and Joseph, right? Because you got Manasseh, uh, Naphtali, Asher. Issachar, Zebulun, right? Um, Gad, Reuben, right? You have these other tribes that are a part of the this stick, a part of this chart. It says <clears throat> in, in verse 17, and join them one to another into one stick and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall say unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us 
what thou meanest by these. What does this chart mean? Why, why are these names here? Say unto them, thus said the Lord God, behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah and make them one stick and they shall be one in mine hand. So this is what the most high had commanded the commanded um, them to do was to so that they can identify where the lost sheep was, where where are the where are their fellow brethren and sisters, so they'll know what tribe they're from, right? So it says verse 20, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before thy eyes. And this is what you're seeing, right? This is the 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 chart that we're bringing out. We're scattered throughout the North American, Central American, South American regions and throughout the four corners of the earth. But because we have this chart over here is to to identify our people to identify who they are and where they come from, you know, giving the historical background. All right. Based on biblical uh, evidence. OK. So from there, this priest, the, the, the priesthood, which was given to the Levites, wore that long garment with the stones and they were able to let uh, people know what tribe they were from. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33 and verse eight. It says, and, Le and of Levi, he said, let thy thumum and thy urim be with the holy one whom thou didst prove at Massah and whom and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Meribah. So, like I said, the Haitians are anointed the priesthood by the most high. Right. Through their valiant acts in the wilderness. Uh, when they left ancient Egypt. OK, and Moses, brother Aaron. Would take these devices and he would throw them on the ground. And would look at them to get an answer from Yahweh based on just just trying to figure out who belongs where. Right. And who belongs to what tribe. And today they have the same type of ritual they would use called voodoo today. And it's operated the same way they perform the laws. Right. They would throw down bones or various things of the sorts to get an answer from God. So that's why when it says, let thy thumum and thy urim be with the Holy One is because it's from the Most High God, Jehovah. And he gave that gift to the Levites. All right. So let's prove that in the New Testament. This is the book of Romans, chapter 11. And verse 29, it says, for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. OK, so the most High gave a gift to the Levites to do it in righteousness, but now they're doing it wickedly. But still, they still have this gift to this day. Right. They still have that that um, that blessing. OK, so let's go back to Deuteronomy chapter 33 <clears throat> and let's go to verse 10 now. But let's finish out. Let's read verse nine. It says, who said unto his father and to his mother? I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children, for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgments and Israel thy law. They shall put incense before thee and hold burnt sacrifice upon thine altar. Right. This sounds similar to what they do with the voodoo. This is how they were able to operate those rituals based upon the laws, you know, got the incense and they use burnt sacrifices upon altars. Right. Verse 11, it says, bless Lord, his substance and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him and of them that hate him, that they rise not again. And that's going into how Haiti 
uh, outproduce the world with coffee and sugar by the work of their hands. And the French people got rich off of Haiti's labor. And then eventually Haiti uh, revolted against the French and defeated them in, uh, in 1804. And, and Fr the French never rose again to power after that. All right. So just just a, 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 a example of how we are able to identify these people belonging to this tribe. Right. Very powerful tribe, the Levites. The inheritance of the Lord. This is the book of Revelations, chapter seven and verse four. It says, and I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So here we'll have an example of the 12 tribes that are sealed and can be found in sequence in the geographical locations um, um, today. Right. But the, this chart, this chart was actually um, recognized uh, by some brothers back in 1999. Um, how they were listing how when you read about this this whole chapter, the people were actually in these locations today and together they're being sealed, right? So, for example, verse five says of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Now, the tribe of Judah consists of the Negroes, okay? Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. The tribe of Reuben con is consisted of the Seminole Indians, located in the south, uh, southern east uh, regions of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. And those are the North American Indians, right? The Native Americans. OK, so. So this is this. You, these are all here in North America. OK, and, and, and th we're able to see that. OK, we're, all, these people are actually together being afflicted right the native americans raped robbed and murdered then came the negroes to do slavery here right they 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 did try to do slavery with the seminole indians but they outsmarted the the europeans right cuz they knew these lands but the negro man didn't know these lands right but we use this we use the bible as a guide OK, the source to finding out who the most high is dealing with. OK, so let's go to the book of Sirach and the Apocrypha. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 33 and verse three. A man of understanding trusted in the law and the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. OK, so the Levites have the law and they were the ones that were going to give the children of Israel the law in the wilderness. Moses was a Levite. Aaron was a Levite. OK, and they performed all the 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 teachings and the sacrifices um, for the nation of Israel based upon um, offerings to the Lord. Right. Coming to the temple, they did the, all the temple work. All right. But mainly that 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 Urim and that Thummim was the oracle, right? Dealing with the law to help see the future for the nation of Israel. And and this Bible is the oracle that is going to tell us. All right. So um I forget which, which okay, yeah, let's give let's give that example, right? It's the book of Ezra, chapter six, chapter two and verse 62. It says, these sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy. So let's let's see what that word genealogy means. OK, we have the blue letter Bible. <clears throat> we can just click on this. In the concordance. Shalaki is kind of slow here. Okay. So it's in the Hebrew translation. Strong's H 3187. 
Yahes. Yahes. Right. That's the, the correct pronunciation. But when you click on it, it says to reckon genealogy enroll on a gene, gene, genealogy enroll be enrolled. OK, the Strong's definition is to enroll by pedigree. OK, so by your pedigree, which the scriptures gives the understanding of of your pedigree being of who your father is. Right. Let's go to that. Deuteronomy. Oh, no. Like it. It's numbers. Chapter one and verse 18. It says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upwards by their poles. So this is how they were getting ready to go to war, right? Verse 17 says, and Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names. So they understood that after the pedigrees of their fathers were how they were going to know what tribe you were from. OK, assembling for war. All right. Uh, let's give uh, another another supporting precept. This is the book of Job. Chapter eight and verse eight, it says, for inquire, I pray thee of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So so. Of them not knowing what tribe they were from, they were had to have to search of who their forefathers were. All right. So this is how they would go to the Levites and the Levites would perform this this ritual with the the Urim and Thummim, Salakia, to let to let them know where they were from. All right. So let's go back to the book of Ezra. Second chapter. And let's read verse 63. Uh, 62 again, it says, but they were not found. Therefore, they as polluted put from the priesthood. Right. So the Levites who couldn't prove uh, they were from the tribe of Levi, they were considered polluted. So they couldn't come eat uh, of the of the priestly things. Right. Verse 63 says, and the Tarshatha said unto them that they should not eat of the most holy things till there stood up a priest with Urim and the with Thummim. Okay. So it says if basically it's saying if they could not prove who they were, someone had to come with the Urim and the Thummim or the oracles to tell them who they were or who they where they come from. So because of the law, because of the law is dealing with the oracle, is giving us the prophecy about the tribes, that's how we know what tribes our people are from. All right. So, um, yeah, I wanted to make that short and sweet. The, the, the Levites have, um, have a full understanding that of, of the tribes, you know, that whole world dealing with the nation of Israel and they would be the ones uh, ushering in, of bringing, bringing in these people, you know, teaching them the law, statutes and commandments, teaching them that they belong to a, 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 a the, the, the priesthood, right? Belong to a, a, a nation that that is basically sacred to the Lord, right? Special people to the Lord. I'm going to give this one last precept. This is Deuteronomy chapter seven. In verse six, it says, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So this holy people, let's remember who this is entitling to, because everybody in the in this entire inhabited world, right, is not holy to the Lord or commanded to be holy to the Lord. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter one, verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side, Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plains over against the Red Sea between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Hezeroth and Dizahab. So all these words Moses spake to Israel. 
All right. And that 12 tribes chart is very accurate so that we can identify who who our people are today. OK, getting them to come back to the house of the Lord that we're commanded. Right. This is the book of Zephaniah. Chapter two, verse one, it says, gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So we are commanded to gather ourselves together. This nation has not desired because blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans have been going through affliction or op oppression for for over 500 years. Right. We are the we are the ones that God is speaking to. And we've been placed under these curses to not even know our history. Right. Being washed from us because of our, of our wickedness. And it's important that we know that. And that's why this stick, the, the stick, as we read in Ezekiel, is being put together so that we can get our people to get back on track, get back in order. Right. It's very important for us to, to know that that we are these people. Right. Verse two says before the decree bring forth before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. So we're calling we're calling our people to come to repentance, forsake the world and come back to the heritage which we left. OK, this heritage is the law, statutes and commandments. we we'll read this last precept. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse four says, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So we don't want to continue to anger the Lord. We're going to come back, come back and identify who we are based upon the scriptures, based upon the chart and based upon our spirit of wanting to please the Lord. All right. Now, I hope this lesson was edifying. If you have any questions, <clears throat> feel free to leave it in, um, in the comments. Or if I know you, you know, you can always reach me in my direct messaging. But with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Shai? Say Shalom.